geldik. Burası T1. First of all, I want to say welcome to our beautiful country. So, you know, for us, hospitality is very important. We want to make sure that our guests are, are happy and satisfied. So I want to say that I don't know if you realize the nacelle, the turbines, don't have our logo on them. And there is a reason for that, because we almost lost our turbines, although we paid 70%. But this is basically a usual suffering for us because we suffered so much for this project. For instance, we had a coup attempt in this country in 2016 and we went into a horrible financial crisis. We started this project in 2016 and uh, all our cash resources dried up because of this horrible financial crisis. Our attempts to find financing for two years failed. You know how bankers are. You know, they sit in their comfortable chairs and, and they keep commenting. And anyway, we didn't give up. We kept trying. And after two years, finally, the bank agreed to provide a supplemental loan. And imagine, this project is financed with World Bank loan through Turkish banks. When we shook hands with the bank and we were ready to start, then the German turbine company went bankrupt. You know what we call this situation? We have an expression in our language. The polar bear found us in the middle of a desert. So what this means is the most unexpected thing happened, okay? And three months of hassle dealing with German insolvency lawyers. The lawyers told us that we don't have your turbines anymore. It's, they are gone. I hopped on a plane, went to Hamburg, and told the lawyers that I'm not leaving Hamburg until I rescue the turbines. And uh, I stayed in Hamburg for two weeks and finally we found a way to rescue our turbines. As you can imagine the harsh discussions we had and the patience. Two weeks after uh, we signed the continuation agreement and finally we start to build up our team again. Of course on the site we had to manage the bankers as well who kept saying what's happening, what's happening, the project is going bankrupt. We had difficulties with customs. Uh, logistics and crane company and we're still having many difficulties but it doesn't matter today we will be receiving our final tools from Istanbul Airport Customs and today we'll start and interesting enough uh, today is my birthday oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. How old are you? I'm 42. I'm 42. Very young. Yes. <laughs> But the best birthday gift for me is to see this plant being commissioned. And it doesn't matter how much we suffered or we are suffering. Because this beautiful town, Kefken, will receive electricity from its wind potential right around here. More than 2,000 homes will receive power. They talk about climate change, this is it. Renewable energy is the most powerful way to fight against climate change. And in fact, we're the guys who make things happen. Out here on the field, unlike many other Hippocrats who sit in their office doing nothing but talk, we're the guys who make things happen. We want to leave a world to future generations, our children, our grandchildren, a world without any climate change concerns. This is our mission and we are the people who make the difference. And don't forget this, smart engineers and technicians with a heart will rescue this world. We are here all together to make history because future generations in, in this town will all benefit from the facility we built. Germans, Italians, Polish, Turkish. Let's get this done. I think it's finished, gentlemen. Just go to the work. Okay. Yes. Back to the work, especially we wait for the crane. Danke, grazie, cinquia, teşekkürler.